CompTIA A+, Core 2, Complete Training Course. Exam Objective 1.4, Given a Scenario, Use the Appropriate Microsoft Windows 10 Control Panel Utility. Power Options. Our next topic in the control panel is Power Options. This utility is used for managing how your Windows 10 system uses power. This is especially important for laptops, where efficient power management can extend battery life and improve performance. Let's dive into the various features and settings available under Power Options, or more specifically, the features and settings CompTIA has outlined in their exam objectives. To start working with the Power Options utility, open the Control Panel, locate the tool and give it a click. This will take you deeper into the Control Panel utility, where you can choose or customize power plans, configure what happens when you close your laptop's lid, and more. So how about a breakdown? First up, power plans are predefined configurations that manage how your computer uses power. The three main power plans are balanced, power saver, and high performance. Each plan adjusts settings like screen brightness, sleep mode, and hibernation settings to optimize for battery life or performance. Next, we will click on the link labeled, choose what the power buttons do, in order to view a few more settings. Here is where you can configure additional power settings, including what happens when you press the power button, close the lid on a laptop, and choose shutdown options. At the top of the system settings page, you'll find options for defining what happens when you press the power buttons or close your laptop's lid. You can set actions such as do nothing, sleep, hibernate, or shut down for both battery and plugged in scenarios. For example, you might want your laptop to sleep when you close the lid on battery power, but do nothing when it's plugged into an external monitor. Further down, you'll see shutdown settings where you can turn on fast startup to speed up boot time and choose whether to show sleep, hibernate, and lock options in the power menu. For one last feature, we have USB Selective Suspend. The USB Selective Suspend setting allows the operating system to suspend individual USB ports to save power. However, this can sometimes cause issues with USB devices not functioning correctly. To ensure that USB devices are not suspended, go to Change Plan Settings for your current power plan. Then click Change Advanced Power Settings. In the Power Options dialog, expand USB Settings. And then USB Selective Suspend Setting. Here you can choose to enable or disable this feature with a simple click. Now, for one last note, the graphics I used behind me were specific to a laptop environment. A desktop environment will look a bit different as there is no need to differentiate between on battery and plugged in states, and desktops don't have a lid that closes. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.